Welcome back to This Mobile Life. If you're new here, my name is Dustin, and today we're gonna to talk about what we believe is the best screen door option for hashtag van life. Let's take a look. Oh, hi, Dad! Hey, guys! <laughs> All right, so, does not come with the kids. So, this is a product called The Bug Wall. Uh, why do we like this one? We've had a couple of different options. Uh, when we first got the van, it actually had like a built-in sliding screen door, which uh, looked really nice and had a nice finish and everything, but it actually like jammed quite a bit. Also, uh, it didn't seal all the way on the side, so bugs could easily get in. We took that out. There was actually kind of a whole frame here. We took that whole thing out, bent it up, threw it away, and replaced it with a couple other options. But this option is the best one we found. And the reason why is it's one solid piece. It's sealed from edge to edge. And uh, other than being able to close off the van, we can also unzip it, we can roll it up, we can get it out of the way when we aren't in an area where there are a lot of bugs, which, you know, head out west, there's not a lot of bugs in the desert. So sometimes you don't actually need it here and you don't want it in the way. What's really cool about this one is how it opens right here in the middle and they do make a couple options they have one by the way this video is not sponsored i paid for this product myself i put it in myself um, but we really do believe it's a good product to go in and out of the van they have two options they have one that has this offset side kind of door which works great for us because we have a chair right here and then there's also one that has one in the center the center is held together with magnets so it literally just peels apart and you can walk right through and when you let go it closes back up these magnets are extremely strong and it snaps together very, very quickly and very well. Some of the other ones we've tried in the past, they don't really snap together or they don't close up all the way. This one closes up all the way and we highly would recommend this. They do make a screen door for the rear. Um, I don't have that right now, so I can't show it to you. But um, anybody who's looking at getting something like this, they offer them for the Mercedes Sprinter or the Dodge or Freightliner, depending on which Sprinter model you have, pretty much all the same. And then they also have them for the Ram ProMaster and for the uh, Ford Transit. So they make one custom sized and shaped for every van out there. And they're all exactly the same cost. They're $350 and it's expensive, right? This is an, it's a screen door. It's a $350 screen door. But we have two kids plus myself, plus my wife. We're going in and out of this thing every single day over and over and over. We've had it on here for almost a year and it's been rock solid. As far as how it's installed, it, like I said, it's one piece. It comes assembled in one piece. And what you have to do is you have to take off this rubber gasket that goes all the way around. And there's the, the, they have instructions on how to do that. So um, it's watch the video if you're gonna do the installation. But basically you peel this rubber gasket off, the fabric wraps over the metal behind this gasket, and then there's little tiny clips that squeeze onto the metal to hold it in place. It's kind of a process. It took us probably a couple hours to do it and kind of adjust it and get it just right, but we've not had to touch it since. We've actually left quite a bit of extra fabric on here uh, in case we want to retighten it or in case we felt like we needed to loosen it. Eventually we'll probably trim it off, but it's not getting in the way. It hasn't caused any problems and it just gives us a little bit of flexibility with, uh, if we need to adjust it down, down the road. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop them down below. I'll be happy to answer those for you. Uh, and if you uh, found this content helpful or useful, please click like or subscribe. It helps other people find this content and answer questions they might have. Otherwise, thanks so much and we'll see you out there.